Hey guys, welcome back to Clever. I'm Katie Kraus, joined by, of course, my PIC, Miss Deidre Behar. Oh yes, best day ever here at Clever. Yes, I am so stoked, you guys, because 78 Violet, they are in the house, AKA <laughs> AJ and Ellie Michalka. Hi. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. How Thanks are you? for coming here. Thank you for having us. We know that your new song comes out tomorrow, but yeah. we've already gotten uh, a sneak peek of it. We are just absolutely loving it. It's hey, a lot different you. from your guys' past stuff. We haven't heard music from you in years. So yeah. kind of talk about the new sound and the new single. Wow, um, I think for <laughs> Asia and I, it's been definitely a journey. I mean, for mm -hmm. us, we kind of wanted to take this time, this five years, um, to really be able to understand who we are as artists mm -hmm. now. Um, you know, when you look back, I think, on your childhood, you see how many things you like that you don't like now, or music that changes. Obviously, we all know that. Um, and I think for me and AJ, we really had a, a huge um, time frame that we just wanted to really be able to um, use to absorb kind of all of the, the art that was inspiring us, the, the music that was inspiring us, the relationships, the friendships, the life experiences that we were able to kind of put into this record. Um, and when we went into it, you know, we we definitely had very open minds and open hearts to it. And it's not quite as as pop. Um, I think it's a little bit more alternative, a little bit more indie. Um, but it still has, um, you know, our kind of our signature sound as, as sisters. What is a hot house flower? Um, that's, <laughs> that's a good question. question. No one's asked yeah, that yet. Don't know what what it means. Means. I was gonna say no one's asked that yet, and then I went, <laughs> well, it's not out yet. So why would they ask? Um, hot house flower is actually it is a specific flower. It's the most delicate. Um, kind of hard to handle flower. It's extremely temperamental. You have to water it at certain times and it's actually like very much a fragile relationship with this mm -hmm. flower mm -hmm. where you have to be really careful how you treat it, which we kind of decided would be an interesting tie-in with a relationship. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Interesting. Thanks. Now, what are the inspirations and the influences behind this new sound? Obviously, it's a lot different, like you guys said, than the stuff that we're used to hearing. I mean, for us, we listen to, you know, many different artists from, you know, Ray LaMontagne to Jeff Buckley to Hart to Led Zeppelin to Imogen Heap. So there's kind of a, a bit of a similar tone within those artists, them being very personal in their, in their work. Yeah, I would say when we're writing, we have those influences constantly, but a lot of people ask if we're ever listening to a specific artist when we're making a new record or when we're writing, and I tend to find it better when you're not listening to anything. Well, talk about the songwriting process as sisters. We both have sisters who we adore. We're so close to them. Um, is it hard, though, ever? Like, are there things where you're like, do I want to tell my sister this? Do I want to open up about this? Does it get difficult? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I think it gets less difficult between each other mm -hmm. than it does with other people. It's kind of like, how many people uh. do we want to know about this? Allie and I were really um, specific about what we want to write about, and we're not we're not ever specific about who it's about or um, exactly who it's aimed towards. We're just kind of no using Taylor personal Swift. experiences. <laughs> not <here>. just using <laughs> yeah, personal I, experiences. I think that for us, you're right. It's a personal yeah. experience thing, and I think. Um, you know, whenever we approach a song, we obviously um, are very specific about, okay, what is this song mm -hmm. going to mean to us? But it doesn't mean that it's going to mean the same thing for other people. Um, right. You know, someone can relate to a song that might have been a relationship song, but they look at it more as like, this is actually about me and my best friend, mm -hmm. or, or the relationship that I have with um, a mentor of mine. Yeah. You know, the music is so amazing and why it speaks to so many people. So just how personal is this album? Is it like an open book of all this? you know, emotion and things that you guys have gone through maybe over the last five years? We weren't careful about um, censoring ourselves uh, lyrically in that in that sort of way. You know, we really wanted to be, um, you know, we wanted to be, um, I think, an open book to our fans when it came to the relationships that we were talking about and some of the social um, aspects of the record as well. We're going to you know, touch on some things and, and really talk about femininity and, and the strength of a woman. and. And that it's okay sometimes to go through, you know, heartbreak and, and also enjoying those moments of, of relationships that maybe have passed, but looking back on them in a positive way too and saying, you know what, I learned something from this and it's made me a woman, you know, and who I am today. Girl yeah. power. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, I think speaking of girl power, it's important to note that you guys really did this yourselves and the music yeah. video mm -hmm. you guys produced yourselves. And I think that that's kind of a trend that we're seeing is all these artists sort of doing the behind the scenes and yeah. the producing elements. So what are maybe the pros and the cons of that. Well, so. you guys have been such big supporters. I mean, even your tweets, like as soon as 
because we had posted like a new image or whatever. I know, and like immediate. Yeah. I was like, just talking about the showcases, you guys were immediately on board, and it was mm -hmm. it meant a lot. So our fans are really good to us, and I feel like knowing that we did this ourselves in a way is going to make them even more excited than if it would have been done through a big production. Um, but eventually, you know, the goal is to team up with a label that you know Ali and I feel really, really comfortable with, and that's kind of the goal of some of these upcoming shows that we're doing. And I'm excited, but right now this has been on our own and we're yeah. cool with that it's and we did really our own cool. craft service you know we did our own really? we did. oh did yeah our own that's transportation. impressive yeah. medic yeah you know in case there was a mishap on set yeah you'll see we handled it we, handle we, we, did, we did wardrobe we had hair and makeup but i mean our crew was like literally Skeleton it was crew. like seven yeah. people so well we yeah. love that because yes. you guys show that that anybody can do it if you have yeah, a vision and you yeah. team up with someone who you really believe yeah. in yeah. you can you can make something happen which is awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Aside from Hot House, any other tracks you guys can share with us? Yeah. Maybe you're excited um, for people to hear. Probably one of my favorites that's really personal to me um, would be a song called Eight Hours, which is about a very long distance relationship that took place in England and then California. I really love this song called Boy. Um, it was actually the first record that we recorded for the album. I mean, it being called Boy, um, I think kind of sums up what a lot of us females kind of end up coming out of a relationship realizing that we were with a boy and not really a man. Well, changing gears a little bit, we were looking at your guys' keek and we yeah. saw you kickboxing. We were so impressed. Yes. Girl That's can funny. throw down. My video. You're like a ninja, yes. like legit. And <laughs> she does the same thing. I just decided to she one day. She just wanted to just do a special I was in the yard it. with our trainer and we were just like, should we just like shoot some fun little action reel? And we were like, sure, why not? Well, it was amazing. And you guys obviously both play the piano and the guitar. Any yeah. other secret talents that you guys have or that you guys can share about each other? Recently we've been moving, so we've been packing up a bunch of stuff and like we were going through like our old artwork and AJ was like, why don't you draw more like you used to? She's like, an amazing artist. These are like not even that great. These are like like silly cartoon faces and stuff. Well, she's um, really good. But that's kind of like a secret like passion. But um, I, I love cool. decorating. Yeah. Like I'm obsessed with like interior designing. Um, so that's so kind of like my own like passion. Like I feel like I would go broke just like looking for furniture, maybe even more than clothes. I would say it's not a hidden talent, but if I had the time and the ability and just had the accessibility to a horse in my yard every day, it would be riding every day. Um, shall we wrap things up with the tweet seats? Yes, you guys, we Ooh. got so, so many questions oh, from cool. fans. Yeah. So we wanted, we picked out some of our favorites and okay. we wanted to have yeah. you guys answer them. Amazing. Um, okay, first up, Brandy Poland. 